Hey guys, my name's Morgan and welcome back to Minecraft. Um I've just come back on and I can hear you can see on the subtitles a pillager. Oh hello. Oh I don't have a shield. Uh, ow. I really need to make my iron tools. Where's the rest? Okay. Okay, any more? Looks like that's them all. Okay. So, welcome back. Uh, so, in the previous video, we just got set up. Hello. We need to name one of them. So, we just got set up with our little shack. We found, in fact, one moment. After reviewing the footage of the last video, I found the volume was a little bit too high in comparison to my voice, so I'm hoping... Okay, that should be a little bit better. We will find out in post, I suppose. Uh, okay, so, yeah, we'll put that there. In the last episode, we found the village that is out that way, I believe, and we got enough, yes, we got enough obsidian to make a nether portal, which I'm considering doing. Yes. But first, we will do just some mediocre tasks. So now that they are all out of the way, I would like to start today with a little bit of farming. A little bit of ranching. Let's see, so I want to gather up all of these animals. There definitely were more of these guys before. Let's see if we can't find them. Here they are. Okay. Ready. Here we go. Come on, no, you as well, and you. Yeah. I think here will be a good spot to keep all of you. So hopefully you won't all wander too far while I go and grab some supplies. I do not remember these guys being so hard to wrangle before, but here we go. So if I do that and then quickly just fence it off. We seem to have a little bit of a lighting bug just now. It's a little odd. How did you... Okay. Come on, buddy. That's it. Everyone gets wheat. Come on. Yes, there we go. That's what we want to see. Well, I think... Let's just give them some wheat so they can start growing up. Okay, now... Shears. And some carpet. That didn't work. There we go, okay, so carpet and then I would like to sneak a gate in here. Just hope no one tries to escape. There we go. Okay. Well, it's a start. It will do for now. I'm not in a rush mood just yet. 
Okay, now that that's done, I would like to move on to something else. I think we should go to the nether. I wasn't planning on going to the nether this early on, but we have full iron tools and full iron armor, and we just so happen to get the right amount of obsidian to make a portal. So, I figure why not? I think that's what we're going to do, and I think I'm going to do it in the form of a third person time lapse. So, let's do it. Sadly, I lost the footage for the third person time lapse, so instead I'm just going to speed up the recording so that you can get a quick look at how I built the portal, and we're just going to get right back into the video. And there we have it guys, I'm quite proud of it, it's... I'm not really sure what I was really wanting it to be, but this is really what I had envisioned. It's kind of like an overgrowth little in cove. And all that's really left to do now is actually light the portal and I'm, yeah, I'm quite happy with that. I think what I'll actually do is instead I think up here, hang on, I'll need to go grab something real quick. I think what I'm going to do is I will put a propagule, I think just here, yeah, and then I'm going to try bone meal that. I'm not sure if it, hmm. I don't know if it will grow here or not, I'll just have to wait and see. But hopefully that will grow and then this will kind of be like a tree with underneath the roots. There's this mysterious dark portal. And I really like this colour palette of using coarse dirt, dirt, mud and the new rooted mud brick. No, sorry. What's that called? Uh, packed mud and the rooted mud. I just like the whole like dirt combination quite proud of what I've managed to achieve here. But anyway, enough of that. We are going to go empty our inventory into the chest and then we're going to go into the nether. Okay, we are all set. Now let's go see if we got a good nether spawn or not. Nether wastes, although it's not the most interesting or fun, it's really handy in that I'm not going to die straight away. So let's have a little exploration. <gasps> no way. Oh, okay then. Uh, Look, we've even got easy access. Well, my luck just seems to be continuing because I usually have to spend a lot of time trying to find one of these places. I'm I'm lost for words. Let's uh let's do a little bit of exploring. We got our first chest, let's see what we get. Some diamond horse armor, that might be useful. Okay, so I have found a couple of blaze spawners which... Oh! Oh no, oh no. Oh no. Not good. Uh, okay. Cool, okay, right, so... A couple of blaze spawners, I think I would like to get all of the blaze rods that I will need for adventuring to the end. Oh no. No, I'm dead. I made a mistake and I'm dead. Yep. Well, at least I'm not on hardcore. And I'm pretty sure I know my way back. So let's, uh, let's go get our stuff back. Okay, we made it 
Saber. And... Uh, okay, all the stuff. Is that everything? Yeah. Ow. All my shields fade through. No, I'm out. How many do I have? Six. Um, is that enough? I've got to be more careful. Okay, so I've made myself some bread. I don't know why I wasn't using bread before. A bit silly, but oh well. Oh, look, the tree grew. Now, do I have any of my root blocks? I do. I think that looks quite cool. I will maybe change that into a custom tree a little while later. But for now, I am happy with that. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is head back towards that village. Okay, so to be more specific, I'm not looking for the village right now. Instead, I think I would like to head over there where we found the skeleton spawner. Now that we are slightly better geared for dealing with skeletons and such, let's head down and see what we can find. Okay, so already it's seeming that my little adventure is going to pay off. We came from all the way up there, uh, ran into a little bit of problem on the way down, but we persevere. And already I see diamonds. I also see creepers, uh, and our shield's broken, so I'm going to have to be a bit more careful. Okay. Two diamonds, maybe more? No, it looks like it's only two. Which is okay. Two is a good start. Oh, okay. An abandoned mine shaft. Okay, so while I've been out mining this mine shaft, I found a spider spawner, which it's not the kind that I thought I would find, but I'm not complaining. Anyway, uh, I'm going to go back to mining. I finished up the mining and I headed back up to the surface, but I made the very rookie mistake of leaving the door open during the night, and as you can see, it didn't end well. Okay guys, and we're back. So I probably spent, I think about two, maybe three hours down there mining. It was all a blur. Um, and then I came up here and I died while I was away having food. Thankfully, I managed to get back here in time to gather all of my stuff. Uh, I have no idea how long it was on the floor for, so I don't know how lucky I I was in getting back. But anyway, let's have a look at what we managed to collect. So, a decent amount of iron. I would have liked to get more, but I'm not going to complain with what we got. Seven, well, 20 diamonds. I made a diamond pickaxe whilst I was down there. I'm quite happy with that. Could have been better, but I won't complain. Uh, a bunch of lapis, a decent amount of gold, a lot of copper, although I don't know what I'll be using that for. Uh, a good amount of redstone as well. Six name tags. So we're going to be able to name a lot of frogs. And just a couple of odds and ends as well. So all in all, it was quite good. We'll get this back to the house. Okay, so we managed to make it back. And we're just going to set aside all of the stuff that needs 
put in a furnace. So all of that. And the rest we will put away. Oh yes, and this is the other thing that we managed to get, an efficiency 5 book. So I'll be putting that on the pickaxe at some point soon. Okay, so we decided to go with a sword, an axe, some diamond boots and a chest plate, which gets us quite well kitted out. Okay, and we're going to leave the episode off there guys. Now I hope you enjoyed. Please let me know what you thought of my little portal design in the comments. I quite proud of it for what it is. I think it's quite nice, but I would like to know your opinion. And uh, just let me know what you think I should be doing next. Your feedback is always very much appreciated. And I guess I'll just see you next time. Right? Bye guys.